Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last three videos, I have shown you with your Qt C++ GUI application how you can connect this list box and a table view and a combo box with the SQLite database. So, for example, I click this load data button and my data is loaded, which is there in the database in the list box and in the table also and in this combo box also today i'm going to show you how to uh, transfer or how to show the corresponding data values in these text boxes when you select some uh, data or corresponding data here i want to show the corresponding data of this name to the line edits or the these text boxes so let's see how my database looks like and I'm showing the list of name in my combo box right now so you can see this list of names and the same list you can see it here also so I want if I select some name from here for example Peter the corresponding values for example his employee ID his surname his name which is Peter and his age should come or should be loaded in these line edits or the text boxes so how can I do this I will show you today and let's get started so first of all what I need to do is I will select my combo box right click it and I will go to slots and I will select this current index changed and with its having the argument Q string. There is one more current index change uh, function here, but with int, but we want this Q string argument function. So select it and click it, and we reach to this combo box current index change event here. Let me make some space and first of all what we need to do is we need to transfer our selected item in the combo box to a Q string. So I will declare Q string Q string and for example I name my uh, Q string as name is equal to UI and then I will take the name of my combo box this is the name of my combo box and then I will select the current text in the te combo box okay so whatever text is there in the combo box I will transfer this uh, text in the Q text or Q string which is having uh, the name name now after that what I will do is I will uh, take this name and perform some query and extract the data from the database corresponding to this value and show it in the line edits so for that I will go, I'm going to take uh, the same code which we have been using uh, quite uh, frequently so for example I have shown you how to save data update data or delete data uh, go one of uh, that function or button click event right click go to slot and click and here I have written the code for executing the queries so the structure will be same that's why I'm copying all the all the uh, code from here and I will pass or I will paste it in this combo box current index change event so after this line of code I'll paste all the code here and we don't need uh, this thing so we will just delete it and I will explain all the things so don't worry so just formatted the, the code and now so 
the RV here. Okay. So uh, now what we will do is after we have taken the name from the combo box, we will declare our login object to call these connection open and connection close function. And if this connection is not open, then I will show the uh, the message fail to open the connection. And then I will open the connection once again with the database con, which is this object dot con open function. And then I will declare a queue string query object and I will prepare a query. So I will write queue uh, query dot prepare and here I will prepare a query. So this thing or this query we need to change. So I will delete all the query and we will prepare a new query. And here I don't need this message. So when we prepare a query and then we execute the query we show that whatever query we want to um, execute. So this is the basic structure. So if you don't uh, want to follow uh, along, just copy and paste this code if you are following these videos. Okay. And here, first of all, let me uh, write a query. So I will write select star from my database table name which is employee info and I have pasted it here so let's do it once again and I will paste it here and then I will write where where we are loading uh, the name in my in, in the combo box so i will write name the column name of a uh, name column is equal to single quote and double quotation and plus plus and in here i will pass the string i'm getting from the combo box so so the query is simple select star from your table name where whatever column name uh, you are uh, showing in the combo box then the name of that is equal to the value you are taking in this q string okay and once this is done then you execute the query and all the data you will get for the corresponding name right then in this if condition you execute the query and then you write while query which is my query object dot next so while we are getting the data then we show the data in that line edits so here what we will do is just go to uh, the ui take or select your your line edit and just take the name or copy the name of this line edit for example employee id text id is, is the name of this line edit and once again i will go to this function the same function and here in the in this while loop i will paste it here and here before this i will write ui because this is the part of or UI this is the name of our UI or line edit and then we say set text and what value we will set here we will set query query dot value and value will be zero because we are taking the employee ID which is column number 0 so we will uh, give the index to these columns so this is first column is the 0th index name is 1 surname is 2 age is 3 so 0 1 2 3 that's why I'm writing here 0 okay and then because we are transferring it into the line edit we need to convert this 
to string so to string and the same thing we uh, i will do for the rest of my text boxes also so three more times and i will change the name of my text boxes second text box name was txt name and the third text box name was txt surname and the fourth text box name was txt age okay and here we will change the index so employee id was our first column so zero name of name was our second column so index one surname was the third column so index two and age was the fourth column so index three so you do that and after this while loop don't forget to close the connection with the database and if this query is not executed we will show the error message okay so i will just select all these code and if you want you can pause the video and copy the code this is all the code you need to transfer the data into the line edits corresponding to the selected value in the combo box i will build and run my program once again and hopefully there will be no errors okay i will give my username and password which this is the project we are working on and now we will load our data in this combo box and in this um, list box and this table and when i select some uh, name here his corresponding data should appear here so you can see already the mark is our employee id1 let me open my database so mark is our employee id1 his surname is henry and mark name is already there and his age is 43 let's try and select some other name for example john and you can see the data corresponding to john is there in the line edits some other name peter you see here the values changes okay so like that you can transfer or you can show the corresponding value which you select in the combo box to the line edit i hope you have enjoyed this video and keep watching these videos maybe in the next video i will show you how to uh, show the data in this line edit when you select some cell in the table so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now